Hello everybody, I'm the founder, and to be honest, I really don't have that much time, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, you'll probably notice I'm playing Modern Warfare 2, and that's because a lot of people, I got a lot of criticism from a lot of people on my previous video. On separate parts, some people disagree with different portions of the game, but one of my friends made a kind of interesting suggestion saying that a lot of the games had gotten better once a newer Call of Duty game came out because the community changed and a lot of the... Uh, I guess new fags would be something to call them or whatever. Everybody who's using an OP weapon, pretty much. Uh, they all leave and go to the next game to use the new game's OP weapons. So, I, I'm going to go back and start playing some of the older games and see how much the community has changed and how much that's affected how the game plays and everything. And then I'll probably touch on that in a later video. Uh, but the main thing that I want to talk about today is society. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but you just got to hang with me on this. I'm mainly talking about American society, but this will probably apply to a lot of the world too. I'm sure everybody here is familiar with the Trayvon Martin case. Uh, and I'm also sure everybody here is familiar with the Coney 2012 case. I'll reference these throughout the video and they'll probably uh, be centric to my main point. And those will be the two big examples that I'll use. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to not give my opinion on either. I'm going to try to keep this as balanced as possible. But I'm actually not going to be covering the cases. I'm going to be covering the coverage of the cases. Um, because it seems odd to me that the national media will spend months covering one murder due to the fact that it may or may not have been racially motivated. And yet they spend maybe a week covering the abduction, rape, and murder of kids in a third world country. It, it just doesn't seem right that the location and reason behind the murder affects the coverage that it gets. I mean, Trayvon Martin has gotten so much attention that... I mean, like, literally everybody knows about now, and everybody's picking sides. Some people pick George Zimmerman, some people pick Trayvon. And I feel like the very large majority are on the Trayvon side. And, you know, with Coney, I feel like the very large majority feel like it's either not our business, which is a fair point of view, and I respect that, but... They, the the people that say it's just a completely stupid idea, I, I have to disagree with you because, I mean, okay, yeah, to be fair, liking a video on Facebook isn't going to change anything in Uganda. I never thought it would. <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> I'm not retarded, thanks. But, I mean, the point of the video was to raise awareness, and they accomplished that. A lot of people know about it now, like, I mean... Not that many people knew about Coney beforehand, and now practically everybody knows about him. And, you know, they probably inspired a lot of people to send donations, and they probably got boatloads of money out of that, so now they can send more people down there, or send more supplies down there, or whatever they need to try to make Uganda a better place. And, I mean, no matter what you think about Coney 2012 and the Invisible Children's Project, it is hard to deny that they are trying to make a positive difference in the world. And yet national media gave them one or two days of attention and they got maybe a week on other social media sites, practically ignoring the deaths of hundreds of people, hundreds of people within the same amount of time that we cover one murder. I mean, that just that just doesn't seem right. I mean, we look at one murder that happens in America and we say, hey, look, the guy holding the gun. I think was a racist, and that's not my opinion, that's what other people are saying. So then, because some people think he's a racist, he's getting all this extra coverage. But then, you know, Coney's out there abducting these children, forcing them to kill their own parents, and then raping the women that he abducts. I mean, that just, I mean, it's completely disgusting, is one, one thing, but it all these people they'll, they'll stand up for justice by convicting a man in the public eye but then won't really do anything 
about the murders of hundreds of thousands of people. And I, I just think as a society, we need to decide what comes first. The abduction and murder of hundreds of thousands of people or the murder of one. Um, well, I was, I'm really glad that we ended on such a lighthearted note and we are coming kind of towards the end of the video. So if you liked it, go ahead, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. If you like my videos, go ahead, subscribe. Either way, I don't really care, but I actually really would enjoy your constructive criticism. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.